Hey guys, Cody Gertz here. Welcome to another video right here on my YouTube channel. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on my Giant Talon. Okay, as you can see here, Giant Talon. This is a large frame. I'm 5 foot 8 or so, 150 pounds, and uh, it fits me quite well. Um, and it, it might be a little tall for me. Uh, but other than that, the bike fits me very, very well. Now, as you can see, it came stock with um, Icon uh, Maxxis tires, okay? Pretty good tread for a uh, beginner mountain bike, okay? Now, brings me to my next point. This is a beginner mountain bike, all right? Uh, now, by beginner, you know, it's a hardtail for one. For two, it's got, you know, like the second step up on the Shimano derailleur. Uh, it's called the Shimano Asura. As you can see right here, maybe if it'll focus, maybe not. Uh, but the Shimano Asura um, for a rear derailleur is right there. Um, and then, so the only upgrades that I've done to this bike are new flat style pedals for mountain biking. These are um, actually like a carbon material. Um, not quite plastic, but more of a carbon material. And uh, they have these little spikes on them and a flat style pedal to get more of a uh, platform to stand on okay um, another reason why I chose this bike uh, for for number one is the price point the price point when I bought this bike was four hundred and fifty dollars uh, normally retails for like six hundred so I got it for hundred and fifty dollars off this was 2016's model and I bought it in 2017 so uh, going to the front of the bike here uh, Suntour XCT uh, front shocks fully adjustable you can adjust the damper on them as well as long as unlock and lock Okay, now uh, the other upgrade that I had to do I had to get a new front tire um, And the reason why I needed to do that is because I ran over a thorn <laughs> I've had this bike for about three weeks now um, And I'm super duper happy with it now one thing I did have the bike shop do uh, when I first bought it was flip the stem over so this stem right here I had them flip that over um, and it actually gave me a better angle on my bike it, since it was just a little too long for me um, in the normal setting okay some things that I don't like about the bike and it's really one thing is the seat um, the seat is very uncomfortable but this is a mount, uh, a beginner mountain bike you shouldn't really be on your seat a whole lot uh, but this this seat is very uncomfortable now I've had this bike for I don't know probably about four or five months now and I gotta say I'm, I'm no mountain bike m m expert by any means but this bike I mean is probably one of the best bikes that I've ever owned and actually one of my first real mountain bikes um, and when I say real I'm not talking about like a, you know Walmart brand or whatever this is my first you know beginner mountain bike getting into you know this type of riding um, and I gotta say that I'm super duper impressed with it so what do you say we go take this bad boy out and uh, see how she does this is my favorite trail to do um, because it is pretty challenging but it also has a lot of flow oh my gosh I tell you what don't ever get asthma if you can avoid it oh okay now the good news is is this is the only downhill section this trail has but anyways, this is a review about the bike. Not how bad a shave I'm in. So far, handling really well. Um, I do have my shocks open, obviously. And the damper set to pretty stiff. I guess it's not too bad. Um, brakes are super responsive. I've never had a problem with the derailers and the shifters. Um, so let's keep riding. I love these pedals though. I would uh, I would highly suggest upgrading your pedals from the stock pedals to uh, a newer flat version like these I got here. So anyways, let's do it. And that really was just an excuse for me to catch my breath. So. <laughs> 
Okay. There is a tree down up here, if I remember right. Let's see if we can make it uh, around it. Unless they moved it. They might have moved it already, which is good. Let's get some speed here. The only really downhill section is this right here. I think they did move that tree. Oh, there it is. This is the part that I like because you can pick up some speed here. Okay. Oh man. Forgot about this one. <sighs> that one would have hurt. And then we should be getting close to to the beginning. Oh. And just so you guys know, we're at like a thousand feet here where I live above sea level, so there's no really significant altitude. My cardio is just terrible. <laughs> so, guys, I gotta say, let me lean this up right here. Okay. Okay, guys, so there is my review video for the Giant Talon 2016 model large frame with hydraulic disc brakes. Okay. Uh, overall, as a summary, I think it's a great beginner mountain bike. Um, I could really use some work on my cardio, but other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, a few upgrades that I would recommend is the flat uh, pedals that I have here. On the bottom um, and then the only other con that I had was to turn the stem over but that's just because the bike was just a little too long for me okay like I said this has been a review of the giant talent I hope you guys got some value from it and if you did go ahead and smash that subscribe button and uh, I'll keep putting out more mountain biking beginner videos okay because that is exactly what I am a mountain biker beginner all right thanks for watching and uh, peace out